Now I will explain how we can implement all these features in GraphQL. Before start writing, starting writing uh, GraphQL code, we have to take some decisions first. First of all, we need to choose our GraphQL server. There are different options available for uh, our GraphQL server. Uh, the first one is using the Express GraphQL. Second one is using the Apollo server. And third one is using the GraphQL Yoga. If I go to the uh, official website of GraphQL and go to the code screen and scroll a little bit, uh, it you can see all the uh, options available to uh, create over GraphQL server. The first of all, the first option is the using GraphQL JS. We need to build uh, our schema first. After that, we need to uh, write our resolvers. The second one is using the Apollo server. And third one is the Apollo Yoga. There are some others as well. But the most famous of all is Apollo server. The main advantage of uh, Apollo server is uh, we can separate our resolvers and schema uh, from each other. And the another advantage of using Apollo server is uh, the uh, server can easily communicate with the front end uh, client. Uh, we need to install the Apollo server on back end and Apollo client on front end and both front end and back end can easily communicate with each other. Uh, these are the packages that we need to install. First of all, we need to install the Apollo server, .env, GraphQL that is required for using the GraphQL, GraphQL tag and JSON web token that we will uh, need uh, for JWT authentication and Mongoose uh, that is required for uh, interacting with MongoDB. First of all, we need to uh, import all these modules. We need to import the Apollo server from Apollo server. Secondly, we need to import a standalone server uh, because in uh, GraphQL server, we are not uh, using Express uh, uh, to create our web application. We are using the uh, GraphQL server. After that, we need to import Mongoose, uh, all the resolvers. I will explain uh, what these resolvers and what this type definition in a while and the context context is uh, like uh, our middleware that is called before and after each request after that we need to create our apollo server we need to pass all our type definitions resolvers and uh, the uh, interception uh, true to the apollo server here i am making the connection with my mongodb atlas I need to pass the uh, MongoDB uh, URL uh, to the MongoDB connect and uh, that I have stored in the environment variable file. When the connection with the, the MongoDB uh, is successfully created, I need to return a standalone server from here. I need to pass the server, the listen and the context to uh, as a parameter uh, to the standalone server. When it is successfully uh, when all the server is successfully running, I need to run the npm start command. It will take some time and start my server. Uh, first of all, it is connected to MongoDB and show me a message that the server is ready at port uh, 3000. I need to click on the URL and it will take me to the uh, Apollo Server Studio where uh, I have written all my endpoints. 